Well, it's that time of the year when everyone is trying to get their lawns in order, right? You're trying to get your lawn looking its absolute best, and a big part of that is eliminating weeds in your lawn. I mean, mowing is super important, applying the right fertilizers are important, but really, if you've got a lawn that's full of weeds, it's never really gonna look its best, right? Now, in the past, I have released videos on how to kill weeds in your lawn without killing the grass, but the thing about all those videos is that they've either required a backpack sprayer, meaning you had to either break out measuring cups or use a heavy backpack sprayer to be able to use them, or they required a broadcast spreader. Some of you guys that are start starting out say, hey, what's this easy option that you can, get, you can give us newbies, something that we're just gonna be able to um, use without a bunch of equipment, and it's allowed us to get a great result. And today I'm gonna talk about that. So the product I'm referring to that you guys have seen me mention many times in the live stream in the past is from Spectracide, and it's their Weed Stop, but in a liquid form. But the nice thing about this is a couple of things. One, it's safe for warm season grass, so your Bermuda, your Zoysias, and you cool season guys are covered too. So if you got your Kentucky bluegrass, your perennial rye, your tall fescues, uh, this is safe to use on both of them. Now, this product covers over 470 weeds. And the nice thing about this is that, you know, oftentimes you hear mention about like the big boy herbicides, right? Like the, the more expensive, more exotic ones that, that cost a lot of money. You have to be very, very careful when you use them so it's not to damage your lawn. And this contains a blend of those. For example, it's got some 2,4-D, some Clorox, some Dicamba. Uh, it, uh, it's got several um, herbicides that are all blended together in safe formulation that you can apply to your lawn. And, it's, and again, it's gonna eliminate over 470 weeds. The thing about this is that it can kills crabgrass, which is one that, that tends to plague a lot of people on their lawns. Um, as far as how to apply this, the first thing we need to talk about before you even apply this is again, we're dealing with a herbicide, is safety, right? So as far as the correct PPE or personal protective equipment, you're gonna to wanna to be using whenever you use something uh, like this, is you're gonna to wanna to wear shoes with socks, long pants, you see I've got a long sleeve shirt on, I've got a hoodie on, and then also gloves. Uh, you wanna keep this stuff off your skin, you know, off your face as much as possible. And even though the label doesn't mention it, I'm also a fan of anytime you're applying herbicides, anything with side in it, meaning it's gonna kill something, right? Uh, is to wear safety glasses. Always have these on because even though you're gonna be applying this using a hose and it's relatively safe, um, if you ever get any splash, you don't wanna get that in your eyes. So, you know, a set of safety glasses is also uh, a very, very good idea. Now, as, as far as um, how and when to apply this, the nice thing about this product is it has a broad range of applications, meaning once temperatures are above 45 degrees up to when it's 9 degrees, so like early spring into summer, you're still good to go when it comes to uh, applying this. So even now, you can begin putting this down. Now, here's a tip that I would give you guys. The, the only restrictions that this product really has around applications or that they recommend that you be careful of when you're applying it is if you have a zoysia lawn. So if your lawn is transitioning out of dormancy, meaning it was brown and now it's becoming green, that period when it's going from brown to green is that transition period out of dormancy. And that's when you wanna be especially careful with using something like this on zoysia, because zoysia is a little bit um, more sensitive, it's a slower growing grass. And even though this, this product is safe for uh, the grass types listed, um, it's still a herbicide, so it still stresses the turf uh, to some extent. So with zoysia, you're either gonna to wanna to use something like this when the zoysia is dormant fully, which right now is probably not the case for most of you guys, or you're probably gonna to wanna to wait a couple of weeks until your lawn is more greened up. So when the lawn is fully green, uh, that is when you'd wanna use something like this on zoysia. But the other grass types, Bermuda, I mean the almighty Bermuda, you know, Bermuda takes a lick and it keeps on ticking, can't beat Bermuda, can't hurt Bermuda. Uh, you know, it's, even with Bermuda, it's still better to do this when the lawn is fully greened up, but it's gonna have less of an effect uh, than it would on, say, a zoysia lawn. The question I know I'm gonna ask is, do you need to water this in? Uh, absolutely not. You do not need to water this product in. The idea is that you're gonna attach it to the end of a hose and you are going to make passes over your lawn. You're not gonna make overlapping passes. You don't really wanna make a uh, pass over the same area more than once because then that would be two applications. So if this is if this is our weed and we're spraying it, we'd make one pass of the, of the product. You wouldn't go back and forth, back and forth. Because essentially that's each time you pass it, that's another application. You don't wanna over apply this. As far as mowing goes, you wanna wait at least two days after you apply it uh, before you mow your lawn. Because you want, the idea behind this product is you want to wet the leaves of all the weeds that you're trying to treat, allow the product to dry in it, and then the herbicide will work its way into the plant and begin to kill it. And if you apply this, then you go and mow the very next day or mow that afternoon, you're really cutting the, the weeds off before they have a chance to really take in uh, the herbicide so it can work its best. So really two days is what you want to wait after applying this before you mow your lawn. For those of you guys that bag your clippings, uh, something you want to do, a little pro tip as well, is to not bag your clippings the first time you mow afterwards. So if you're one of these people that, you know, you, you love to bag your clippings because you don't want clippings on your lawn, if you use a product like this, if you use Spectracide, I'm gonna recommend that you don't do that just the first time. Allow the clippings to fall back onto the lawn because those clippings are gonna contain some of the herbicides. So as they break down, they're gonna work their way into the soil, they're gonna, they're gonna continue to work. You don't wanna take like perfectly good herbicide you just spent a bunch of money on and throw it out. 
As far as where you can find Spectracide, you can find this at any of your big box stores. I'll also have a link in the description in case you want to order it online to make it easier for you to have it delivered to your door. If you'd like to see other content around dealing with weeds, like Poanio, dealing with Career Merchant, I put together a playlist right here that has all that content all arranged in a really convenient format for you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.